All right, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, and uh, we're going to begin reading at verse 11. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord, and the king's house, and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord, and in his own house he prosperously effected. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night, and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray now that you'll bless the preaching. We pray, Father, for your leadership as we go through this this morning, but as we go through the entire week. We ask you, God, for there to be a revival here at Central Baptist Church. We pray, Lord, there would be a revival in our country. But as Pastor mentioned, it has to start in our churches. And we pray there will be a revival here. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Thank you, and you may be seated. <clears throat> when we talk about the subject of revival, there are different ideas that people have. Some people think it's when hundreds of people get saved. And others say, well, revival is not for the unsaved, it's for the saved. That's why it's revival. You've got to have revival before you can get revived. And that's true, too. So revival is really more for God's people. But then it's also true that when you have a revival, ten tendency of the outcome of that is there will be lots of people saved. Of course, I'm not saying anything new to you about that. We both are most are all aware of that. Now, the word revive, though we talk about it all the time, is really only in the Bible situation.